Good. Okay, pay, we have to pay, pay Gimel on, on, on it, Aleph. Now, there's a din of Shviras Etzim, which we're going to get into, that you can't break the bone of a carbon Pesach. Uh, it's supposed to be eaten like a king, and you can't break the bone. This is Torah on it. We'll get into it. Bez Hashem. Why, why you can't eat the... But you can't, you can't break the bone of a carbon Pesach. The, the problem is, is that the marrow inside is nicer. The, the, the marrow inside is nicer. So we're going to have to figure out a way to burn it is, is there a din in, in burning the bone or not burning the bone? In other words, does the bone get a din of nicer or not getting a din of nicer? So and we'll, as we'll see, very fascinating Gemara. Says the Mishnah, at Samos bones, the Hagidim are sinews, which, uh, and uh, we're going to ask, L'chair, why can't you eat them? The Hanaiser and leftover meat, the Hanaiser and leftover meat, is Rafu Bishisha Asa. You burned them on the 16th. In other words, the, you ate them the Lel Tesvav. The next morning, they're nicer. They're nicer at that point in time, Tesvav in the morning. However, you cannot burn them until the Chalamoid in the morning. You can't burn them until Chalamoid. And we'll see that as a separate issue. Chal Tezayin Lias B'Shabbos. And in fact, if Chalamoid ends up on Shabbos, the first day of Chalamoid is Shabbos, Yisarfu be Yudzayin, then you burn them on Yudzayin on the 17th, on the second day, uh, on the second day of Cholamoy. The Fisha'ina doichin loyasa Shabbos loyasa yontem. The Srefa of the Neuser or the Atzomais and the Gidim will not go ahead and override Shabbos and or Yontif, right? Therefore, you don't burn it on Yontif on Tesvav, and you don't burn it on Shabbos, even if it's Tezayin. Says the Gemara, Amr Ab Mari Baravu, Amr Ab Yitzhak. Atzomais Kochim Sheshimshu Neiser at Samos of Kochim, which support the Neiser. In other words, the Neiser is contained within them. Then Mitamoy Mesu Yadayim. They'll be Mitamoy the Yadayim. The Chachamim were Geiser, guys. The Chachamim, the Chachamim were Geiser, that there is a din. The Chachamim were Geiser, that there is a din of, there's a din of, a tumma on noiser, that noiser will be metama the adayim. So, who had din the bone which encapsulates the noiser will in fact also be metama yadayim. So, in other words, we're giving the bone the status of noiser. We're giving the bone the status of noiser. That's that's what it says over here. One more time. At some is kachim she she shimshu noiser that meshamish the noiser. It supports the noiser inside of it. Metamay mes yadayim. Since the bone becomes a basis, like we had in Mesech the Shabbos, a base. It becomes a base, what? For the Dover Asa. It's the base for the Nisa, which is the Dover Asa inside. Fred Gemara, Neymar, not Fred Gemara, states the Gemara, Neymar Messiahle, I'll bring you a proof to the Yisoy de Rabbi Yitzchak that the, the bone has a din of, of Shemesh Nisar, and therefore it has a din of Nisar. At Somais, the Amishna, Hagidim, bones, sinews, the Hanoiser, and Noiser itself, Yisarfu lit Ezayin. You should go ahead and burn them on the, on the, on the, on the 16th. Again, the, the Chiddush here being you can't burn them on the 15th, but let's analyze exactly what kind of At Somais are we speaking about over here. This din, the At Somais, again, you're burning the bones. Why are we burning the bones? Hani At Somais Hechidami. Exactly what's the status of these bones that were burning them? If you're going to tell me the bones are not marrow bones, they're just regular bones, why are you burning them? There's no din of nicer. Fellas, nicer is a din of something that was edible and you did eat it. And if you couldn't eat the bone because there's no, it's not unedible, there is no din of nicer. You just simply throw it out. Just throw it out. So why are you burning the bone? It must be speaking. The ispuhumayich. It must be speaking about a marrow bone. And marrow, we know, is very edible. The yeah, people like marrow bones in Charlotte. They, they, it's a the people fight over the marrow bones. The the mayich. The, the, the mayich. They call Yiddish the mayich. And my, my 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 wife loves the marrow bones. She eats the marrow bones. Now, you're going to tell me the bone, which is a bus, is a supportive of the nicer, is something, and it's in a nicer, lahaki boy sreifa. Therefore, it needs sreifa, which would be a riot to Rabbi Yitzch, Rab Yitzchak, right? That since you're burning him, why are you burning him? Because I must have a dinner of nicer. 
you're going to tell me that the thing that's Mishamish Milsa, that supports the Nisa, that's the bosses to the Nisa, is not Milsa, is not something, meaning halachically it doesn't have this, uh, the end of Nisa, Lamal Husreifa, why are you burning it? I, you're going to burn it to get to the Nisa, the Mike inside? I got a better Eitzah. Nitvarinu, break it open. V'nachlet say l'mayach did who? Remove the mayach. V'nisrafe, burn the mayach. Unishadinu did who? And throw it away. In other words, you might think the following. The reason we're burning the bones is for one of two reasons. Either because it has a din of nicer, or because, hey, there is nicer inside. There's the bone, there's the, there's the mayach inside, there's the marrow inside, which certainly has a din of nicer, right? So says the Gemara, if the bone doesn't have a din of nicer, you don't have to burn it. Make a nick, cut it open, remove the wa, the mayach from inside, burn the mayach, which is nicer, and throw away the bone. Ella, the fact that you're burning the bone is a raya that it has a din of nicer and must be burnt because it's mishamish nicer, it has a din of nicer. Ella, lav shemami no, shemish nicer, milsahi. Shemish nicer is epis something. I'm calling it nicer, you know, but really maybe not. It's epis something that when you burn it. L'chair, it's a very nice raya. Understand the raya, guys? You all got it? Good. Now that you all understand that the Gemara will disprove it, right? That's what the Gemara does, right? Once you understand something, the Gemara will do it. It's good to see Maish. Maish, it's good to see you. Says the Gemara. Ami, loy. No, no. Lo'olam, emelach, I'll tell you, Shima Shnaiser, lav milsa. Shima Shnaiser is talking not. So why are you burning it then, right? Question. If it's not nicer, cut the nicer out, get the Maish out and burn it. Ukasavar. Oh, guys, listen to the Lushen. The etzim loisishvaru boy. The etzim loisishvaru boy. But now, the kosava boy bekasha vafil so the so the din of shviras etzim applies not only to a kosher bone. The din of shviras etzim applies even to a non kosher bone, meaning one that has a psul. In this case, nicer or tummy. In other words, I'm giving you another reason why you can't pick the bone. What was the kasha, guys? Look at me. What was the kasha? Why are you burning the bone? If it's not a milsahi, you shouldn't have to burn it. Cut the mayach out and then throw it away. And for the Gemara, I can't cut the nicer out. I'm not allowed to break the bone. I'm not allowed to break it because the din of etzim leisis for boy not only applies to a bone of hechsher when you're eating it for kosher, but even a bone that's puzzle, a bone that became tame, a bone that's nicer. So it, you're not burning the bone because of the bone, you're burning the bone because you can't get to the nicer because you're not allowed to break the bone. One more time. The reason you're burning the bone is not because the, bo- the, the bone is milsahi, that it's a shimish nicer and it's something. That's what, that's what was the, that was the raya. No, that's not the raya. The reason you're not, your, your reason you're burning the bone is because of the moich inside the bone. Because I can't get to it. I can't cut it open. I'm not allowed to break the bone. Therefore, it's not a riot, Rebbe Yitzchak, because Ken Zayin, the bone is nothing. And it, and it was a regular carbon, nothing. So, How can you think that a bone that's puzzle, there's a din of Shviris Etzim? In other words, guys, if you break the bone of a carbon Pesach, you get Malchus. The Etzim, my sister, boy, you get Malchus for breaking the bone of a carbon Pesach. So it says the following. If something is left, if meiser left over betahar, or someone goes ahead and breaks a bone when the bone is tamei, you will not go ahead what and get. You will not go ahead what and get malchus. If you're going to go ahead and break a bone that's tamei, you're not going to go ahead and and chay malchus. So think about it. The, if you leave over nicer, you never get malchus for nicer. The Gemara Malchus says two reasons. Either it's a it's a lav she'en ba meisa. We learn out malchus. In order to get malchus, you have to do a meisa. We learn it out from the lav de chasima. It says malchus, and right afterwards it says like satsam shor bedishar. And just like the chasima of a shor, the muzzling of a shor is an action. So too the paradigm for malchus is something is an action. If it doesn't have an action, you're not chayev. So when I leave over nicer, I'm not physically physically doing something to the meat. In fact, I'm doing nothing to the meat. I'm not eating it. 
So it's a lot of So that's one shot. Another shot is a lot of the class say. Because what, is, what does it say about what, what should you do it? So the act of burning is menatic the lav, just like the Heshev is like Zela Shegazal, the act of returning the Zela, the soul, is menatic the lav of stealing, so too the act of burning is menatic the lav of Meiser. So those are two reasons you don't get them So that's the first din of the Mishnah. The first din that we just quoted is Mishnah, Avala Meiser. Someone who leaves over Meiser doesn't get Malchus. There's a second din. And if you break the bone, that's Tamei, you don't get it. So how can you tell me if you break a bone that's nicer, you would get? Again, we're going ahead. It's <coughs> nicer, Tamei, both Psulim. You are saying you can't break the bone of night to get to nicer, and that's why, and you have no Raya to Rabbi Yitzchak. Here we see clearly, <laughs> if you go ahead and break the bone of a Tamei, you're not getting Malchus, obviously. So you're not being over there, sir. So back to the original what? The original Raya. If the fact that I'm burning it, it must be because it's a support. It must be because it is a busis, a, a, a base for the nicer inside. And therefore, it hasn't been a nicer. And therefore, I'm burning it. Of course, you said, if it's not nicer, break it and bring it open. I, go, I can't break it. But I said, why not? But you could break it. So since you could break it, you're not breaking it. It's a, it's a raya. So that's the Gemara's kash. It says the Gemara follows. But Tanan, Someone leaves over betohar. One second, who's going to second benchy? Loi kasha, kan shahoy shlashasa kosher, kan shaloi loy lashasa kosher. There's a difference between a carbon pesach that had a time when it was good and not. In other words, let's say you shechted the carbon, right now you could eat it. And therefore, there is a din of etzma sishbru boy. And then it contracts tuma. In that case, you would have a lav. However, let's say it contracted tuma and there never was a shasachila, then you would not have a lav of etzma sishbru boy. So the mission that says that a moise betar, but betame, does not get malchus aboyim, is speaking where there never was a moment where this carbon was edible. Since there never was a moment it was edible, there's no isser of what. However, in a normal case, there is an isser if the isser comes later. Nicer clearly <clears throat> had a shasa kosher. Before it became nicer, it was edible. Since it was edible, there is a din of esmeis shruboy. The mela, the reason why you're burning the bone is because you can't get to the nicer inside of it because I can't break it. The mela, you don't have a riot to it. sucks thin that the bone itself is milsahi. Yes, but Benji, you had a question. Maybe answer it a little bit, but doesn't the um, concept of ase del cholos as they come to play? The essay of burning the noser should be you should be able to get to it. The, at the time the shvir etzem, even the eating. At the time when you're breaking the bone, you're not making time. The essay dochalosa say has to be mamish be shas when you go ahead and and uh, and and the essay of burning it is I broke it beforehand. When does essay dochalosa say be shas the essay of the essay? I'm mm-hmm. pushing off the loss essay. I'm wearing tzitzis of shatness. When am I over the iser of shatness? Don't worry. When am I making the mitzvah of of of, of tzitzis? Well, it's really a shail in the Gemara whether it's okay. But that's, that's the answer to your question. Are you guys, good. So now, right now we're holding everything's okay. The kasha yes, we have a teretz to the kasha, right now. And there's a difference now. How do you know there's a difference between shasha kosher and shasha kosher? Uman tana the shoni lebein shohes le shasha kosher the loy hoish shasha kosher. Who's the tana makes that distinction? Rabbi Yaakov, it's the Tan Rabbi Yaakov. The Tanya, the Etzim Le Sishmeru Boy, it says, the Etzim, you should go Sishmeru Boy, Boy because of Le Psul. In other words, even, even if it's the only dinner Shvirs Etzim is if the, it's kosher. But if it's possible, if it's nicer, you could break it. If it's Tame, you could break it. And 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 this Tanakhama does not make a distinction between Shasa Kosha, not Sasha Kosha. He says a car punched in across the board. A carbon that has absurd, there is no din of that unless it's true by. Rabbi Yaakov Oyner, chos le shasa kosher. It depends. If it has shasa kosher, v'nifsol, yesh by mishim shviyas etzem, then there is a din of shviyas etzem, because it was in the ballpark. Like chos le shasa kosher, if it was never in the ballpark, ain't by mishim shviyas etzem, then there's no din of shviyas etzem. And that's the distinction we're making now to answer the question in between Noiser and Tommy, that you asked the Kasha, you wanted to say that what? That Noiser, you can't break it because that's a Shasa Kosher. I, Tommy, you could break it. It's never had a Shasa Kosher. 
Reb Shimon, I'm echad zeh, the echad zeh, whether it had a shasa koisha, it didn't have a shasa koisha, anybody was shvir setzen. In fact, Toysus Akasha, the choy Reb Shimon is a tanakama. And for Toysus, we have machloikis between uh, between Reb Yaakov and, and Reb Shimon as to what the tanakama meant. In other words, they're both qualifying the tanakama. Tanakama says the following, guys. Tanakama says the following. He says, by Tahar, there's a din of Shvir By Tomei, there's not. Now, we have a machloikis, how, what are the words that Tanakama mean? Loit Rav Yaakov, if it means Dafka, if it never had a Shasa Kreshe, then it's not. If it had a Shasa Kreshe, there is a problem. And if, she, and if Shimon says, no, Kip Shutai, he explains Tanakama Shutai. When it comes to Psul, no difference. Shasa Kreshe, not Shasa Kreshe. So if Shimon clearly cannot give the terrace that we just gave, to go ahead and answer the problem between Nisrim and Ami. Mesede, we're going to ask a question, Rabbi Yitzchak. Again, why does Rabbi Yitzchak say that the bone that contains the marrow, the bone that contains the marrow, uh, has a din of Nisrim? With the fact you're going ahead and and burning it. Good. Kolat somes hakotchim, all bones of kotchim, ain't to unim sreifa. They don't require sreifa. All bones, in other words, when, when you burn the carbon, you don't have to burn the bones. Chutz me at somes ha pesach, with the exception of the bones of pesach, because of the worry, the takola of what? Of breaking a bone. The chayre, the takola that you worry about over here, what? Is you might break a bone. Now, what bones are we discussing? Honey at somes that you're telling me by regular kabonis do not require, do not require burning, but by carbon pesach do. If they don't have any marrow in them whatsoever, why do you have to go ahead and burn it by carbon pesach? Guys, why if it doesn't have any nicer, why are you burning it? Again, the whole reason to burn is by carbon pesach, but So the fact you're burning the bone must be that it's something that was edible, that has a din of nicer. A bone that's unedible, as we began to share, does not have a din of nicer because it was unedible. So why would I'm burning it? So this bone clearly had to have mayach. If it didn't have mayach, there's nothing to talk about. El it must be speaking, the isbu mayach, it must be speaking where it does have mayach. It does have marrow. Now, what, so why don't we just say, if it, if it has marrow by a regular carbon, it does not require, it does not require burning. But if it has regular marrow by carbon Pesach, it does. If you're going to tell me the shimash of Nice is Milsa, at some is Kachim and my intun Misreifa. Forget Karim Pesach. What? <laughs> Guys, you're speaking about a marrow bone, and you, there are two dinner a dinner in a regular carbon and a dinner in carbon Pesach. In the regular carbon, you don't got to burn it. In the carbon Pesach, you got to burn it. And it's a marrow bone. Fred the Gemara, Rabbi Yitzchak's Yisoyed. When a marrow bone is supported by the bone, the bone has a bit of nicer, then why in the world are you not burning the regular carbon? The regular carbon contains maich, you should burn it. Because why? The bone is supporting the nicer. Ella, it must be, it's not a support, and therefore you don't have to burn it. Therefore you don't have to burn it. So you find bones that are broken open. At some is kachim, the aim by Mishim Shvir Setsem, they don't have a dinner Shvir Setsem. Kame dinna have a nicer before the bones, the marrow became nicer. Chaltsinu, they removed it. Lay have a shimish nicer, and therefore the bone was not Mishamish nicer. Guys, you're eating a carbon. You're eating a carbon. You have a few people there. And you know there's a din in the carbon of all meat must be eaten. So what are you going to be do? You're going to take the marrow bones, you're going to break it open and eat the marrow. Because you know that marrow has a din of meat, and therefore it becomes nicer. So I have a regular carbon, and I find broken bones, right? What, what I'm going to say, the person took the nicer out. And therefore, this bone was not a mishamish of nicer, because it was not nicer, right? <clears throat> Before the bone became nicer, they'll open up. 
At some is a Pesach, the Yesh Ben Mishum Shvir Setzem, the boss of the Nahavi Noiser, who, right, the Chal Sinu. When did they take it out? Only after it became Noiser. Tavili Shimish Noiser, Uboy Sreifa. And therefore, what? It requires Sreifa. It's got to be Kashno. Guys, look look back at the words. Mesive. Kol at some is a Kachim, ain't Tunim Sreifa. Why? Because you took the Moich out, and now they didn't have a Shimish of Noiser. Those you have to burn. You know why you have to burn them? Of course, you couldn't take the nicer out because there's a dinashvir setsem. And once there's a dinashvir setsem, you have to, you have to, the, the, the bone goes with it. The bone goes with it because I couldn't, I couldn't take it out. So I have nicer over there, but, but I, I couldn't take it out. Let's see Rashi. Shematzin chalutzim, three lines in the bottom. Kula masnisan mitukma, the whole mission that we can establish, the mitzay at samais chalutzim, where you found bones that were cracked open. Kleimar, shivurim, broken. The nechlat moich mehem, and the moich was removed from them. At samais kachim, the burns of kachim, the bones of kachim, the mutal shavram that's permitted to break. Amina, we say, stoma de nilsa. It must be that it's moich to not become nicer. Umekami iserayu the nesle nicer, and before the iser that they become nicer, the chal sinu they removed it. They ain't kan shimish nicer, and therefore the bone is not mishamish nicer. So in other words, really the bone is a mishamish. In this case, there was no nicer, right? However, the carbon pesach guys, the carbon pesach which you can't break, right? So then the bone becomes, uh, and the noise is inside, and then the bone you can't burn because you burn the bone because the bone is considered the bone is considered like Rebbe Zavid is considered a mishamish. Okay, the basa hachi the ifslu Rashi continues called sinu removed it the su lespe isa shvira kreb shimon the eshkan shimish noisa. Okay, that's the that's the next piece. Okay, let's see inside. When did they when did they remove it? Guys, you're finding empty bones. So why do you have to burn the bone of a carbon pesach? Because they removed the nicer afterwards. But if Shimon holds, even in its puzzle, you could remove it. Good. We had a three year machloikis. We had no, we had two year machloikis. We had a Tanakama. We have Rav, we had Rav Yaakov and Rav Shimon learning Pshat and Tanakama. Rav Shimon said, Echad Zeh, whether it's a kosher carbon, the Echad Zeh, meaning he had a Shasa kosher, or he didn't have a Shasa kosher, you could break it. There's no din of, of Shri Setzem. So now you find a bunch of broken bones. This pile is a Shlomim pile. This pile is a, this pile is a Pesach pile. What's the difference over here that you don't have to burn the bones? And what's the difference over here that you do have to burn the bones? And for the Gemara, it's Pasha. Really, these bones, I removed the nicer, I removed all marrow before it became nicer. So the bone was never Mishamish nicer. So that was the question. If you're telling me it's a Shemish nicer, even a regular carbon shlamim, you should have to burn the bone. Because the bone should have a din of nicer, similar to the marrow inside. But El- Elama, it wasn't nicer because I had a hecha timsa to get to the bone, to get to the moich. How did I get to the moich? By breaking it, because there's no iser. How about this pile? I have a pile over here, a bunch of bones that are now empty. Good? On Pesach, could I get to it? I couldn't get to it, right? Pesach, I couldn't get to it. When could I get to it? Only after it became nicer. Rav Shimon holds, after it's nicer, you could break it and take out the nicer. Good? So, it's broken open. I took out the nicer. Why do I have to burn the bones? Because the bones had a mishimush of nicer. Because when it was kosher, I'm, there's a mir iser of the etzelay sishbru boy. So this pile, despite the fact that it's broken, and this pile, despite the fact that it's broken, it's two different animals. Excuse the pun. It's two different, totally different. This one, the, the marrow was not nicer. This one, the marrow was nicer. 
the, I, I, if it was nice, so how can I break the bone? We're holding like Reb Shimon, who holds once it's puzzle, even though it, didn't, it had a shaskaisha, then we're going to be able to break the bone. There's no din of Esmas Yishmura boy. And that's shot, and that's why it's not shver to me. That's not shver. Very gishma. Because again, the kasha was, how can you burn a bone of a shlamim if it's, if it's a mechamish? And it's the Gemara, you, you, you don't have to burn the bone because it, it wasn't a mechamish, because it wasn't nicer in the first place. That was one way to learn pshat. Reb Zvinama, second pshat in this brisa to answer up the question from Shlomim. You're telling me, you, Reb Yitzhak, say, a Shlomim, if it's nicer, you should have to bring the bone also. So one teretz is that what? It never was nicer. You removed it, correct? Here's the second teretz. Reb Zvinama, hacham ayaskinan. What are we dealing with over here? We're dealing over shemasa tzibur and tziburim. You found a bunch of bones. Some of the bones were empty. And they're on the top. You check them out. And we say the following. You got two piles. So at some is kachim over here. We assume that he removed everything. So I got a pile of bones. I see a few broken bones on top. I don't have to check the rest. If you broke a few bones, I can guarantee you, you broke the rest of them. Why? Because you don't want it to come nicer. You want to eat the moich. Again, there's a, you, you, there's a lav. Guys, there's a lav. So it's not, everyone's going to break the bone when you can. So by a regular carbon, if you find a few broken bones, there's no need to check viter. No need to check. And therefore, why? You can burn the whole, whole batch. You, you can throw out the whole batch. You don't have to burn any of them. That's what the Mishnah says. Uh, 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 right? If you find atzamas kachim, shar kachim, you can go ahead and throw them out. You don't need to go ahead right and, and burn them, which would make sense. Because I have a way of getting at the mic, because I can break it. Right? So, all of them, he removed it. And you don't have to burn it. At some of Pesach, the Atzamas of the carbon Pesach, the Yesh Ben Mishim Shriya Setzem, Maybe the ones he broke at the top of the pile, right? And those are, they were Venissa, but all the other ones, what? Not. And therefore, you have to burn the pile because it's going to be present there in the pile. Either way, it's not a stira, a question on Rabbi Yitzchak. Again, the whole purpose of this was to question Rabbi Yitzchak, who hold that the bone had a din of a support of Mayach. And you want to say that the fact that you don't have to burn it, or the fact that you do, uh, that, that has nothing to do uh, with uh, the Shri Yitzchak, or else you should have to burn the Shlomim as well. No, it really, the Shlomim is speaking about that lot, that the Moich is out. Once the Moich is out, it's not nicer, and therefore what? There's no din of, <coughs> then there's, no, there's no support of, of, of nicer, because there was no nicer. Okay, now, that was the end of that Samais. The second din in the Mishnah, guys, was Gidim. It says, now, why are you burning the gidim? Why don't you eat them? Again, it's a lamb, it's a goat, it's soft. Why aren't you not eating them? That's the Gemara's, that, that's what the Gemara is going to dingzich with now. But what's the story with the gidim? Some of you don't rap. Kola gidim basar. All the gidim have it in a basar. Now, all the basar can be counted in the Mesh Hashem on the carbon. Pesach one day, there's Hashem, and we're going to eat. A kazayas of the carbon pesa. We're gonna have a nice. We're gonna have a daf carbon. We're gonna have all the members of daf. We're gonna sit together in Yerushalayim on Chabura, right? And uh, the Kaddish Baruch Hu's shining his countenance down upon us for for all the years that we we stomached each other and didn't, didn't fight with each other and with each other. And and he's gonna say, "Yeah, my those are my boys." And we're gonna divvy out. We're gonna say, "Well, David Sass, we're gonna give him a little piece of." Uh, Geschmack a piece of the backside. And Eshi John Kellowitz, he's going to get a geschmack a piece of, of the front side. And Avram Rosenzweig, he's going to get a nice piece of the rump. And Avram Iwine, who's smacking his lips, is going to get a piece of gid. He's going to get some sinew to suck on and maybe chew a little bit, right? <laughs> Look at him. He's all dry. Watch the road, dude. He's going like this. Watch the road. Anyway, so, so he's he's... So the, the gid has a dinner bus. So why are you burning the gid then? The Gemara wants to know what's this level of gid? It says Gemara, Kol gidim baser. All gidim have a dinner bus. Now this is a problem because Amishna said you're burning the gid, correct? If there's a dinner bus, so eat it. Chutz mi gidit savar, the gidim of the neck. 
Now the neck has a dinner, it does not, it's it's edible or not edible. It's something we'll see. T- okay, so Tanan, we learned Tanan Mishnah. You got to go ahead and burn these Gidim Atazayim. So just like we made an analysis of the Atzamais, which we're speaking about, and we ascertained it must be speaking about marrow bones. Over here, we're going to make an analysis and we're mistakenly going to think that it's speaking about the Gid of the Tzavar. It's going to end up being speaking about guys, the Gid Anosha. It's going to end up speaking about the Gid Anosha. So now, Amish Tran, at Samas Vagidim, Anoisa Yisru Betazayim. Hani Gidim Hechidam. Exactly what status is the Mishnah? We're burning them. What are they? What is the status of these Gidim? Ilema Gidei Basar. If they're Mamish Gidim that have a bit of meat, Lechlinu, eat them. Why are you burning them? Eat them. Vidi Toiser. And if you can tell me they're Basar and they were left over, Hainu Noiser, which was lifted, listed separately. Guys, at Samas Gidim Noiser. So you listed that uh, uh, nicer is the third thing. If the if the, if you left it over, so the chayu the gid that's baser is included in the category of nicer. Elop it must be speaking gid It must be speaking about the gid of the neck. Now the gid of the neck, it seems to be. Look at Rashi. Elop shita v'gid eitzavar ka'amar u'mishum dein nechalim machmas koshen. It's not eaten because it's hard. So money luhu bahadi at samais. Therefore, it's included with the bones. The kamar, the ikra on the sreifa, and it's 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 headed for sreifa. The mistam aloyachlehu because people mistam won't eat it. Good. So when the Mishnah says at samais gidim benoiser, we're speaking about an etzem that's similar to the gid, uh, similar to the the excuse me, a gid that's similar to the etzem. It must be speaking about a sinu that's similar to a bone that it's hard to eat. It's hard to eat now. So that's what I must be speaking about. If you can tell me the gid is baser, I'm too lahachi by Israifa. That's why you have to burn it. If you're going to tell me it's not baser, why in the world would you have to go ahead and, and burn it? So we have a kash on Rav. Going back. Right? All gid ma baser except gid tzavar. But we're proving from the Mishnah that uh, when Gidei Tzavar are a fact basar by the fact that you have to burn it. One more time. Rav's statement. Nek sinu, nek sinu is considered what? Is not considered basar. It's not considered basar. Once you say it's not considered basar, guys, that means throw it in the garbage. You don't have to burn it. Our Mishnah says something that's called a Gid requires burning. We're ascertaining that that something in our Mishnah is the Gid of the Tzavar. Kashan Rav. Why does our Mishnah require burning for the Gid Tzavar? And why does what? Rav not. The Gemara is going to answer the Mishnah, the Gid of our Mishnah is not speaking about the Gid of the Tzavar. The Gid of the Tzavar is like Rav. It's like Rav. Like Rav. It's not possible at all. The Gid of our Mishnah is the Gid Anosha. It's speaking about the Gid Anosha. And that's, and that's why it's what? It's, it's not Shver and Rav. Says the Gemara. Um, Rav Chista, el Gid Anosha. Right, Rav Chista says, "I'm Mishnah." When it says Gidim, it does not mean the Gid of the Tzavar. So before we before we explain it mechanically, you've removed the question, guys. Right? What's the mechanics over here? Rav says Gid Anosh, Gid, Gid Tzavar, not Basar. I'm Mishnah. When it says Gid needs burning, it must be it is Basar, right? What's the answer? This Mishnah is not speaking about the Tzavar. Okay, Rav, you're gone. No problem. No kasha anymore. Now let's explain what does it mean that our mission of the Gid Hanosha, why is that different? That why you have to tell me burn it. The man of Shach. If the Gid Hanosha is meat and it's posh, you have to burn it. And if the Gid Hanosha is not meat, then you throw it away. So clearly our Mishnah says when you burn it, it's considered meat. So let's let's go through that now. So we removed the question, and now we're doing the analysis of how we know our Mishnah when it says at some way skid and require burning. It must be the Gid is speaking about the Gid Anosha. So let's let's see that right now. Be what aware. Is, yes, Ash. But, but the Gid Anosha is austere to begin with. I mean, it doesn't, it's not it's not something edible. I mean, maybe edible, but it's austere for, for a Jew to eat. So it doesn't even come into Why the do picture. you say it's austere by the Karm Pesach? <clears throat> well, it, it, well, we'll see. We'll get, we'll get to a terrace, the Shamlai Shal Gid. We're going to get to a terrace in a second. It's an it's fa- unbelievable terrace. Okay, Amr Abachista. 
the Ella the Gira Nasha, Valiba de Rabbi Yehuda, says Rashi, Loy Nitzra the Gira Nasha, Loylam Gide Tsavar Lav Bosnin, like Rav, the Shargi Dim Bosa Gomor, the Roy Lachila, Umas Nisan the Mashma, the Yesh Gidim Shain Bosser, Litan Sreifa, the Bosser that requires Sreifa, who stomina in a Holland, the Kamar Yusufu, the Tezayan the Gira Nasha, who rach the Kosha Lachila. Now, we're going to see Hesh that there's two Gira Nashas, one you could eat and one you can't, according to Rabbi Yehuda. So it's the one, other one that you could eat, in answer to your question. Hesh is asking Gabali a question, guys. Hesh is asking, the Gira Nash is unedible. What are you talking about? Meat, not meat. Okay? The answer is, Rabbi Yehuda holds that only we paskin that the Gira Nash is in both legs. It's in the right leg and the left leg. The sciatica nerve that runs down the right and the left is the Gira Nash. Rabbi Yehuda says, it's only one of them, and I'm not sure which one, but the other one will be Muta. That's, that's, that's what we're burning, Hesh. Says the Gemara. So it's a very good segue, your question. Says the Gemara, uh, the Tanya, Rabbi Yehuda Oimer, ain't a noig ele ba'achas. The Gira Nosh is only noig in one or the other, the right or the left. Bahadas machras, and the mind is of the opinion of, of the in- inclined to think, shall you min. It must be what? The right get anusha, not the left. That must be the one that's usher. So therefore, late the left one would be the one that what that ostensibly you're going to burn because why it's basser but not. Let's be guys, right? The Gemara in Chulin has a shaila when Rabbi Yehuda said das machras. Does he is he saying it as a double pashit or he's saying it as suffix? Good. So let says the Gemara latifshe the suki masafkale. Let's say it's a suffix, Rabbi Yehuda. The inivsha shitale goes clear according to Rabbi Yehuda that what that it's the right and not the left. I, so what should you do? I hear that teira nechle eat the left with the sura and the right. The shadi you should throw out. Mama lay sreifa. Why do you need sreifa? El it must be that he's misupik, but he doesn't know, and therefore we're going to burn him. We're going to burn both of them. Hashi, here to answer your question, right? It's speaking Ken Zayin that he is pushing. Guys, in other words, now we're just going to Chul. Now, we're, guys, we're in Mesech Chul now. In Mesech Chul, the Gemara is a Shailah. Is Rabbi Yehuda saying it's Vaday that's the right, or it's a Suffolk that's the right? Let's be pushing from our Gemara, that's a Suffolk. And for Gemara, no, it could be it's a Vaday. So what happened? They got mixed together, and therefore I, I can't burn. I don't, I don't know which one it is. Well, so therefore, in Shukru, you know a little bit slight So therefore, that's Enochinami could be his pasha, but you don't know on the right guy mixed with the left. You don't just want to eat, so therefore you're going to burn it. Why are you burning it? Because one of them is considered basar. You need it to teach me the din of the shemen of the giranasha. The tanya shamnoi muta. The shemen of the giranasha is muta. The Yisrael kedoshim heim. The noig bayisa. The Yisrael are kedoshim, and the noig isa. And it says Rashi. Ravashi Amar. Masisim b'sham neshal gid. I'm just speaking about the shemen of the gid. The the muta min atayra. It's muta wat min atayra. The noigu is a boy, and when noigu is a as menig, hilkach chilasa the sreifa. The kiv in the min atayra muta. Since therefore it it needs sreifa. The and of course that initially kiv in the min atayra muta chal is a nice for love. This is a nice and therefore what you have to go ahead and 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 burn it. And therefore you have to burn. it. Okay, so two puts in one, it's mixed up together. Okay, let's again. When Amishta says the following, at some ice, they were speaking about a, a marrow bone. Gidim, according to the first Havamina, Gide Tsavar, no. Giranosha, Giranosha, I Giranosha Zasa, either like Rabbi Yehuda, which one is Muta, or it's speaking about the, we know it's one that's Asa, but we're not saying the Giranosha itself. We're speaking about the oil around the gid that we're burning that has a din of basar. And therefore, you leave it over. Therefore, what? So it's muta, but the Torah is not by But they're not like, Very interesting to know. Just point out, I'm, I'm going to speak at some Torah, not today. Uh, at the, the minig of Chai Yisrael, we don't eat the shaman of the gid. By Korban Pesach, we would. By Korban Pesach, we would. Because minig v'maka mitzvah lav milsi. Minig b'mok a milsa lav milsa, you guys. So here we have a minig not to eat the carbon. That's why a regular, regular carbon, where you don't have to eat it. 
or a, or a regular is a chulin where you don't have to eat it. By carbon Pesach, with the mitzvah of achila, and the shemen should give as a dinner of basar, and it's only a minig that stops us from eating it, therefore you will be able to eat it. Of course, minig b'maka mitzvah is lav, lav milsi, is nothing. Very gishmak. Continues the Gemara, another tariff, Rabin Amar, the chit sign, it's speaking about the adder gid, Rabbi Yehud Amar Shmuel, Amar Rabbi Yehud Amar Shmuel, Beis Gidim Hain, there are two Gidim, Penimi has samach le'etzim asa, the inner vein that samach the gid, that samach to the the bone is asa, the chayav mula, and you chayav eating the gid and asa. Keeps on the outer one has samach le'basar, that's close to the basar, not the bone. Asa is asa to eat and chayav mula. So therefore, you have a few terutzim of the gid and our mishnah. It's speaking about gid and asa. And we have a few reasons how we have a hekat hints of gid and nasha if it's asa. Some teretz is what it's a suffix, it got mixed up together. Another teretz is what is that it's speaking about the sham and shal gid. And another teretz is speaking about what the outer one, uh, the inner one, and not the outer one. The inner one's asa, but you won't be, uh, it's, 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 uh, Shabbos, then you burn it on my, on your Zion. The bottom line is, guys, you do not burn. The bottom line is, you do not burn on Yontif. You don't bring Kachim on Yontif. That's the bottom. Nicer, it's nicer on 15, the fifteenth morning. We're not burning it till the first day of Chalamoy. We're not burning it till the first day of Chalamoy. Amai nesi say Let's say let the essay come along and be doichel the say. Right, let the essay come along and be doichel the essay. So I gave Baruch is this kasha, Baruch is this kasha. Let the essay, but it's not really the kasha because it's not not no, it's not your question. Because over here, you are being kind of essay. The time you're burning it, right? You're being kind of essay of what of of getting of 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 of, of getting rid of the nicer. Why did you ask? Tell me, why did you ask? Wouldn't it be like Mila that we do Mila on the eighth yeah, day? We, we, or we, you, you hang in there. Why did you ask, Benji? No, I asked about in terms of breaking the bone. And yeah, getting, breaking the bone. But yeah. that, that, that's a good terrace, right? Because that's two different times. Over here, guys, when, 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 when are you making the mitzvah of, of getting rid of nicer? When you burn it, correct? So there's an iser on Yontif or, or Shabbos. There's an iser of Yontif or Shabbos. Sorry, it's speaking about Yontif. There's an iser on Yontif or Shabbos of, of Laisase, not to do a malacha, not to burn something. However, over here, I'm being the kind that I say at the time I'm over the Isser. At the time of the burning, I'm kind of the mitzvah of what? Of the tofu. So, Fred Gemara, why don't we say, Essay do chalos essay? So, Turutzim. Guys, guys, got a kasha? A few Turutzim. Why don't we say, when I'm burning the, when I'm burning it on Tesvav in the morning when it's Yantif, right? Or Tesvav in the morning when it's Shabbos, why do I say, Essay do chalos essay? Really, the question is from Yantif. But Shabbos is a, as uh, it's is uh loisa se via se in se docha a se loisa se. But my nesia se vidicha loisa se. I'm a chiski of a chint, a chiski on a craw, loisa sir women a biker, one biker, but nice women are biker based to strifu. It says biker twice, guys, right? Like sin women are biker, but nice women are strifu. Shane Tamil at biker. What do you have to say the second biker? My Tamil at biker, meet me like buck the shame in the street, the street fast life. In other words, it's a xerus a custom. It's because there's a custom to burn it on the on, on the on the second day. Two bikers, the biker of Tezvav and the biker of Tezayin, burn it on Tezayin. It's a mitzvah say to go ahead and burn it on the second day. So in other words, it, it seems from here that this is the time of the Sreifa. It's a mitzvah to burn a dafka at this time. It says <clears throat> by the carbon oila, you should bring a carbon carbon oila on its on Shabbos. But not an oil skull bishabis. The Tomid, the Musif, the Zman Kavua, the Karbanis Sibur are Daicha Shabis, but an oil skull is not Daicha Shabis. Loy oil skull beyond if nor is it Daicha Yantif. So in Mela burning, oh, if you can't bring a carbon then, you can't burn it then. Rabba Omar, Omakro, Hu Labada Yasalachem, Hu Vlay Machshiroi Labada. Labada, right? Veloy Mila Shaloi Bismana. Perish. We know we know that there's a, a din. Hi Menachem, I'll call you back. We we know that there's a din of of 
on Yontif, you're able to go ahead and cook. We know that on Yontif and Shabbos, there's a din of Mila. We also know there's a famous machloikis, whether machshire Mila adoycha Shabbos or not. Rabbi Yelez is of the opinion that you can make, you make the knife on Shabbos, you can carry the knife on Shabbos. We don't pass in that way. We say only machshire hulevadoy. What's oichel nefesh is permitted. But not, what you can do, what you can do either before or after is not. Is not toicha. So Mimela, I don't have to burn the bone on Shabbos, on the nicer, because I could do it afterwards. Mimela, we have three pshatim now as to why, why you don't, why we don't say here, I say docha losa say. One boike boike. One oil shab shabatoi, vlay oil schal shabatoi, right? It's, it's not worse than a carbon. And three, we have a shot of, of machshirin. And we have it, the only mila shleib is mana. But, and that's the answer to Kenny, right? If mila shleib is mana, it's not taicha. Says the Gemara. Now, haba mi kavachoyme. Because there was a kavachoyme that mila shleib is mana. There is a kavachoyme. Rashi means a, 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 a kavachoyme from Tsaras that mila shleib is mana should be taicha. That it's not. It says Shabbosin. By Yontif, guys, it says the word Shabbosin. That what? It's, it's a mitzvah to go ahead and rest. So here's the rule, guys. An assay can be doicha or a lois assay. An assay can't be doicha, an assay and a lois assay. Gemara Yavamis. Why isn't Binyan based Hamigdash doicha Shabbos? The mitzvah of building the carbon of building the base of Migdash is an assay. The mitzvah of keeping Shabbos is a lois assay. And what's the Gemara answer? Ain assay, docha, los assay, the assay. Zachar Shema Shabbos, the Kashay, right? There's the mitzvah assay by Shabbos. Assay can't be docha both. Who are then beyontif, right? By yontif, the assay of performing the, of burning the, the carbon, right? Can push off the iser of doing melacha on yontif. It can't push off the iser when there's another assay and there's an assay of Shabbos. Therefore, it, it can't. Thank you all for listening. Shabbos, Mazel Tov. Yeah, thank, thank, thanks everybody for for for.